Hey guys, welcome back to Chalkboard Tutorials. In this episode, we'd be going across some of the more commonly asked questions, either in interview prep or exam prep, in regards to options, futures, and derivatives. So the question we have here is, explain the difference between hedging, speculation, and arbitrage. So diving head first, let's have a look at what exactly is hedging and what purpose does it serve? Now, when you get asked a question like this, it's probably better to just address the differences between these three strategies. Uh, in any instance, hedging tends to be one of the more popular strategies employed by investors and traders alike. And the idea is when an investor or a trader takes a position in any asset, they are exposed to something known as price risk. So to put it in simple form, when an investor takes a position, they presume that the price of the asset goes up, but they also stand a chance that it works in the opposite direction where the prices go down. Again, this would be dependent on what position the investor is taking. The investor could presume that the price is going to go down and instead the price shifts up. But either way, there always stands a chance that the price would work in the opposite manner. So one thing an investor can do to offset this to a certain degree is to go out and take out a derivatives contract. So take out a derivatives contract. And what this would do is essentially work as a counterbalance for any losses that might be incurred if should the markets or should the asset go in a different direction. Speculation. Now, speculation tends to be the easier one amongst the three in which no hedging takes place. So the idea behind investor or trader speculating is that the trader has no exposure to offset. So he or she is pretty much betting on the future movement, future movements in price of the asset. In price of asset. So in pretty binary terms, they are more or less speculating. Now, arbitrage tends to be the slightly more misunderstood form of strategy, but it is pretty simple if you break it down. The idea behind arbitrage is an investor or a trader takes a position in two or more uh, different markets. And the idea behind doing this is to ensure or to lock down on some form of profits. So lock in on profits.